Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome. I don't know how to start this intro, so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I got a interesting package in the mail today, and I wanted to at least get my opinion based upon some different areas. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I actually was at one point really a good fan of G Fuel. Uh, G Fuel is what I still use right now, and I enjoy it thoroughly, but um, I have two of my favorite flavors here, Spicy Demonade and, of course, uh, Twisted Candy. But I wanted to try and see what other products were out there and see if anybody else could catch my interest or catch my inspiration to energy drinks I have now since I love video games and all things alike but I never knew how many other energy drinks were out there there's like sneak there's uh, there's like some sort of raw or beast energy out there and then there's also rays rays energy and today I have a unboxing of Raise energy. So, I'm gonna get this bad beast opened and I'm gonna get you guys something to look at here. So, give me a hot second. Official order statement for me. Very nice. I got a nice uh, mixture of stuff. Uh, I got three cans of each flavor, and I ended up also getting the energy sampler also, which is a sample pack of four. And yeah, we'll go from there. Got a nice little cover on top to make sure that everything stays nice and organized. Little dividers in order to help ensure that none of them are being mixed up and if there was any damages I would be able to notice it very nice all right first things first we got a 12 pack of galaxy burst here and an empty box for uh, zero sugar grape bubble gum. These are two of the flavors that they have, mind you, but I'm not sure exactly what's inside of each right now. A couple more dividers, and at the bottom here, got another oh, box of bubble gum, grape bubble gum, and it has some of the cans inside of it now. And another one, Voodoo. I'll have to give you guys close up on the boxes here. And the labeling, of course, right there. It's a little hard to see. I'll read it off for you guys. So the nutrition information, I'll read off the ingredients real quick. Carbonated water, which is most commonly used inside of any sort of like sodas or any mixtures of that. Citric acid for flavor for the most part. Refresh performance complex, which is a combination of chemicals, not chemicals, but I guess, uh, well, I guess it is kind of chemicals if you really think about it. Betaine, adhydros, caffeine, anhydrous, tartrine, potassium citrate, L -tyros, uh, tyrosine, yep, L tyrosine, uh, chlorine bitrate, hmm. 
BCAA aminos, which is usually used in most energy drinks. Um, usually in order to enhance like the performance of someone or something for the most part. L leucine, L isoline, L valine, L val oh excuse me, L valine, excuse me. Carnitine, L tartrate, alpha GPC, caffeine, oh caffeine citrate, okay. And then we got also natural and artificial flavors, circulose, potassium, sorbate, uh, preserves and freshness uh, to keep it maintained and fresh for a long time. That's basically what that's for. Uh, sodium benetrate, and that's to preserve it. That's to preserve the freshness, to keep it on 100% until it's used. And as to flame potassium. Now, Let's get into the most important parts. Some, some things, uh, although the ingredients are kind of confusing, most of this stuff is just in order to make sure that the energy is well maintained and balanced, but also at the same time is not like overly saturated. And for the most part, it has a lot of caffeine in it. Um, the caffeine that we're looking about, let's. See here it looks at about 300 milligrams so we're looking at about the approximation of what a spike energy drink has to which if anybody ever decides to get a spike energy drink or raise just keep in mind to take a half a can before you drink it well more so take a taste test first then drink only a half a can for the first half of the day if you really feel like that you can still need the energy, then you can take the other half of the can. But you should never use more than half a can with 300 milligrams of caffeine inside of it. Now, serving size is one can, 16 floor ounces. We have 12 in a container. This seems to be exactly voodoo in here. I can see uh, voodoo in here for sure, but there might be some other cans in here as well. Um, Everything else is pretty much zero with the exception of sodium and potassium, but everything else on the charts for grams, uh, calories, fat, saturated fats, trans fats, anything like that, besides sodium and potassium is zero. So you don't have to worry about fats or anything with these energy drinks. These are 100% okay. And you don't have to worry about sugar. Sugar is not in these energy drinks, unlike Red Bull, Monster, Spike, anything like that you're 100% guaranteed to have only caffeine inside of these drinks, which is good. 100% better than any other energy drink out there. Now, let's bust this bad boy open, shall we? Rip and tear until it is done. Let's see, what do we got in here? Um... Uh, this is Galaxy Burst. That's the can. It's what it's like. Zero sugar. That's what it says on the nutrition facts as well. Also, fun fact for anybody who wants to know something. Before I get into this any farther. I was told at one point that carbohydrates are actually just another way of saying they have sugar in it. Because what it is, is like artificial sweetener. So, whenever you see total, um, total carbohydrates, for every gram of total carbohydrates of what you have inside of your food or product or anything like that, that is equivalent to one-fourth of a tablespoon? No, that's one-fourth of a gram of sugar, excuse me. So just keep that in mind whenever you buy something. So this guy has zero, so you don't have to worry about any of the sugar intake there but galaxy it's a nice color on it has like orange and yellow and ooh so they have this refresh policy which says um it's basically a acronym fresh for them is 
F for focus, R for recovery, E for energy, S for stamina, and H for hydration. It's a good policy to live on. Focus, powerful neuro neurotropic blend featured alpha GPC delivers crystalline focus and mental clarity without the crash, find your flow. I like that already. We are for recovery, fortified with restorative, restorative branch chain amino acids, BCAAs, as they call it. Ray supports physical and mental recovery. E for energy, charged with time release caffeine, Ray's delivers an insane, no crash burst of energy. Ever tangled with three bowls before? That's an interesting thing <laughs> to say on it. That's uh, that's actually kind of cool that they would mention something like that. Just kind of like ask you a question while drinking something. Uh, S for stamina. Contains a mixture of revitalizing nutrients for your body and mind. Rays unleashes your second, third, and fourth wind. Bro, how many winds do you need? <laughs> I guess it probably means as many as you need in order to get through the day. I guess that makes sense. H for hydration. Packed with replenishing electrolytes for lap, uh, rapid rehydration. Rays is the most refreshing energy drink on the planet. The greater aid. That's pretty bomb, man. I like that. Hmm. Well, more nutrients facts, but it's the same as what's on the box here. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, consume one can of raise energy 20 to 30 minutes before conquering your exercise and or life. That's an interesting wording as well. Not going to lie. Now, mind you, everybody who's all watching this video, it's okay to have energy drinks. It's also okay to have caffeine and but to have too much caffeine at one given time will affect your mental focus. As much as this energy drink can do for you, you should limit yourself to maybe one can a day, maybe two at the very most. I mean that seriously. Two cans is literally probably too much. You shouldn't even have to drink that much caffeine unless if you're planning to do an all-nighter. So, to that extent, one can, be mindful of your caffeine intake. It does affect mentally over time, so just be cautious. Now, we also got Voodoo. Nice can design. I love it. Love how the silver outline just makes that pop right there in the black and red. Actually, it's an orange and red. I don't even know what I'm talking about. That's orange. It's beautiful. It's also that Halloween one that they got going on, Voodoo. You got skulls on it, spiders. And they even got a doll in the picture right here. Look at that. I like this design. This one's really nice because it's fresh and straightforward and it's pretty crisp in design wise. But it's not necessarily bad. Then we got Baja Lime. Bro, look at that. It's like I'm looking at uh, Brisk's tea on a can, bro. That is so nice. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that makes, that makes me just think of the beach right now. I want to go surfing. Oh, beautiful. And then, sour gummy worms. I've heard this one's a really popular favorite amongst, like, anybody who's tried this. Pretty basic design still, but, I mean... It matches probably what it's going to taste like. I'm assuming it's probably going to be sour. I got one of each out right now. I think I'm probably going to want to try 
voodoo, but before I get into that, we got some more cans to open up here. Because after all, we're still missing great bubble gum. stuff phantom freeze bro that's crisp it's nice nice design honestly love it straightforward it looks pretty ghoul ghostly and it's just a pretty straightforward black and white can I like that anything that goes like that is really one of my tops because it doesn't really need a super fancy design always. I think something just along the lines of like a basic can is just perfect. Then we got watermelon frost. Mmm. I do love me some watermelon, so I, I I'm looking forward to this one actually. Um That red makes me really think it's gonna be popping with juice flavors. Oof. Next one we got on the list is Guava Mango. Whoa. I have a Guava of G Fuel. I might be able to compare these two and see what the difference is on those. But I'm looking forward to this one as well. Strawberry Culotta. Pretty basic design that looks uh, similar to a strawberry color. It's pretty. And it's also very crisp and basic. I like that. Next, we got another package here with some more stuff in it. I'm going to go ahead and check to see what I got in this package. Uh, there shouldn't be any more cans as far as I know, but I could be wrong, so. Oh, and we got another casing in here. This is the little miniature pack that I was supposed to be getting with my order, but I decided to also get some of the flavors of their populars that they have. I like that. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's get this bad boy open. I guess I could just open it from this side. Hold up, what does he say? Today your life will change forever. You can snap a pic of your case over at Raise Energy to win free gifts. Hmm. Might consider it. Depends on how I like it. Don't limit your challenges. Challenge your limits. That's a good saying. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. That's also a good saying. Um, I have a shirt that says, Go always beyond your limits. And it's a anime shirt, but at the same time, it speaks pretty much the same exact way that you would want something to be spoken. Got some popcorn here, some popcorn peanuts. And just go ahead and move these out of the way. Also, looks like there's a couple of different other cans in here. Seems as though I haven't seen the full picture of what these flavors are. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy cleared off. Apollo. This one is called Apollo. It's American. Well, at least it shows the Liberty statue. It could be, nah, it's definitely American. It's red, white, and blue. What am I talking about? Really nice design overall aspect. I like the can 
I like the can design. It's really freaking nice. Then, a little more strawberry colada and guava mango. I'm looking forward to drinking these actually. I'm I'm really interested in what these guys are. Yeah, I'm just making sure that I was empty. All right. I think that's all the product I got. Let's go ahead and try out some of them. Now, mind you, I have some G Fuel to be in comparison of, but assuming if I'm following what the boxes and what the logo and the motos are saying about this Ray's Energy, I'm not gonna even have to even try it for a second time. And I might be just having to switch. But we'll find out here in a second. Let's go ahead and start off with the first one that I was really interested in. I thought that the watermelon looked really nice. Oh wow. Yeah, you do get that frosty sensation when you're drinking this. It's supposed to technically be frozen. Well, not frozen. Cold. Cold. In order to drink this. But that's a really nice watermelon taste. I like that a lot. I have a dubious uh, watermelon mint flavor for G Fuel. But this definitely takes the cake for me. I love natural flavors. I'd much rather have something like this before anything like mixed with like mint or anything like that so I'm happy that this is just a straight up watermelon <sighs> yeah it's banger I love that I love that drink a lot oh. alright next up we got the What was it that I was going to pick? Oh yeah, the guava mango. Guava mango, just so we're clear. Yeah, it's like a mixture of some sort. It's like, that guava is like a sweet taste, but that mango, you can definitely taste in the back burner. Just literally idling by. As the guava goes down the throat, you can still taste that mango in the back. And it just goes down with it after the mango, or the guava goes down. It's really nice. Yeah, I actually do like that. Um, G Fuel doesn't even have any mango flavor as far as I know, so this is pretty banger. I actually like this mango drink. Not to mention the fact that it has guava in it as well. I have a guava drink over there in G Fuel, but that definitely takes a better, that definitely does a better spin on it. So I definitely like guava mango a lot better than what G Fuel has. We're gonna go ahead and try strawberry colada. Hmm, that's like a creamy strawberry. That's basically what it is. I like that. You don't really have any like natural like 
just two pieces of like flavor coming together really nicely like that in some of the other drinks I've had in the past whether it be Bang or Regime or even for that matter Monster like Monster can't even take the cake on this like this is really nice I like that kind of reminds me of like a pastry almost but at the same time it's like the name colada is supposed to represent the pina colada if you know what that is it's an adult drink for any kids out there you can also get a pina colada without alcohol you could just ask your parents for one but by all means don't ask for alcohol in it right away but if you're an adult by all means I love this drink it's just doesn't have any alcohol in it. <laughs> but it doesn't need it. Because it's an energy drink and it does its job just perfectly. Next, Phantom Freeze. This bad boy, I was actually looking forward to after the, sh the watermelon, but I wanted to try the uh, guava first because that seemed like really interesting. I wanted to compare and contrast, but this Phantom, I want to see what this tastes like. Whoa. Hold up. Give me one more taste. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a blueberry taste, but... Oh. I wonder what the other flavor is in it. I can definitely taste the blueberry. I know that's there. Maybe it's a raspberry kind of taste? More than anything? Like a blue raspberry? But I feel like there's something else in there. But that raspberry taste in it, it just, it just pops. It, it makes it literally go. Like, you can drink this and it would be your blueberry taste for the day. Or even for that matter, a blue raspberry taste for the day. That is banger. Oh, I love that one. Like, that and the watermelon are just my top two right now. Let's go ahead. I need to move this strawberry out of the way. Let's go ahead and try, you know what, let's try the a popular one that people have been talking about, the Raging, or the Sour Gummy Worm. This is a really popular one by, from what I've been seeing from people. Yeah, it literally is a sour gummy worm, basically. It's just pretty much liquefied <laughs> in an energy drink. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. Mind you, these guys don't have any sugar, but... My god, does it almost taste like it does? That's crazy. Wow, that's pretty cool. I actually do like that one. Sometimes I don't like the popular pick just because it's um somewhat of the ordinary that people like to pick and things like that, but I can see why people like it. It's a really nice drink. Not to mention, I love sour drinks, so you can definitely tell I'm drinking it. <laughs> Let's see. The next step on my list, I want to try that Imp Apollo. This one. Uh, if it's anything like I've tasted back in the past, I'm thinking I'm going to compare this drink to Mountain Dew's uh, Liberty Brew mixed with White Owl. That's going to be my comparison. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. It's not bad actually. I like that. It's um It's a blueberry taste. It has really nice smoothness to it. It's not necessarily like crazy like the Phantom Freeze was with the blue raspberry, but it does stick out with the flavor, so you can definitely have a nice drink with this. And it's not like all bubbly and stuff for you. Yeah, I like that. It's like a really like jacked up um Mountain Dew with a uh, blue voltage, I believe, except just without the citrus in it. Uh, it's actually a, tastes a lot better than some of the other drinks I've had. Now, let's get on and try one of the other three. We have Galaxy Burst, Voodoo, and Baja Lime. Well, since it's pretty close to Halloween and near my dad's birthday right now, I'm going to go ahead and try the Voodoo. I am going to try Voodoo and see how it tastes. Cheers. Oh wow. It's an orange. It's a... Um, how would I describe that orange? Like a blood orange? I think what I would describe it as a blood orange. That's actually really interesting. I have a blood orange back there, but this is... This is more natural of a blood orange than... Than what G Fuel has. That's really nice. Hmm... Oh, I get it now. See the scars? They run up. They're bleeding. They're bleeding orange. Blood orange. I like that, but at the same time... I feel like this blood orange is a little bit dull in flavor. It could be kicked up a notch. But it's not bad. I like it. It's just not one of my favorites on the list. Excuse me. It's not one of my favorites on the list, but it's it's still a pretty good drink. If you like something like not overpowering, like anything, like if you were to drink this with like a meal or something that you're gonna be having before workout or anything like that, or before you even game for that matter. I would suggest I would suggest drinking this with like a meal cuz it's not like it's super powered like it won't take over the meal itself but I still wouldn't drink this like like on its own it's just lacking in flavor somewhat Yeah Honestly, it is a limited edition, but I was almost a little bit disappointed in it. Just a little bit. Next up, we got Baja Lime. Cheers. Oh, that is crazy good. Wow. They weren't kidding when they called it Baja Lime. You got that lime flavor literally on the spot. Like, that's great. Mm. Oh, and it has that freshness like a Baja Blast. Like, if Mountain Dew can make their Baja Blast lime flavored, oh my god. This literally would take this by storm. That drink is amazing. I love that. I love that drink. Baja Lime is literally taking my cake right now. Oh. 
Oh, that's hard to pass up, man. Oh, let's see. This is going to sit right here. And Galaxy Burst is the last guy I got. It has been a trip to go through these flavors, man. I really enjoyed most, well, pretty much almost all of them, with the exception of Voodoo, which has been my only disappointment so far. But let's give Galaxy Burst the welcome that it deserves. Whoa. That's a lemon. Hold up. That's a lemon, man. That's crazy. Man, why does G Fuel not have any lemon flavors, man? <laughs> like, lime and lemon are the only thing that they don't have, and it pisses me off. And I love these guys so much. Oh. Man, that's killer. Oh. Okay. Real quick. Let me tell you my top ones right now. So, out of the... Let's see. How many cans do I got here? I got nine. I got nine cans. Out of the nine cans that I've tried here right now, I'm going to pick my top three. Actually, yeah, that is my top three right there. Taking the cake at number one, Baja. Baja Lime. 100%. Not even a competition for me. That I love. I love the flavor of it. It's really, really good. I love the fact that it was able to combine a lot of different flavors in order to make that Baja taste, but it still smashed the lime in there in order to make it unique. And not to mention, it was just the right amount of lime. It's not overpowering, it's not like it's trying to take your control of your mouth, it's just enough in order to be like, that's a lime, and then the rest of the flavors just flow right into it. I could drink this literally for days, and I would never get bored of drinking it. Next up on the ones are the watermelon. The watermelon frost is my second pick. It's just a nice, crisp watermelon flavor. I love watermelons, and I love strawberries, but man, oh man, does this watermelon taste fantastic. Man, I wish that G Fuel would have done that sooner and just made a straight up, like, fresh watermelon taste with even more caffeine. This, this is just bomb. This is bomb. I can't even complain about that. <coughs> Excuse me. You can tell I'm drinking carbonated drinks. <laughs> I'm burping like crazy. I never drink, let alone burp this much drinking carbonated drinks. And then, my number three all-time pick... Is gonna be Galaxy Burst. It's a lemon. It's just, for the most part, it's just lemon. But it's a really crisp lemon taste that isn't like so sour to the mouth that you can literally just like squeeze up your lips to. It's really condensed into a flavor that you can enjoy and that's not so, I guess I would say, sour still. But the point being is that. I love lemons that have that unique taste to it, and this drink just brings out the best of that lemon flavor. I just love it to death. But those are the drinks that we have had. I have some runner-ups here that I would love to give mention to. Guava Mango. Guava Mango was going to be my fourth pick if I had gotten it. But I honestly could not complain about Guava Mango even in the slightest. Well, maybe just a little bit. The Guava is a little bit lacking. It probably could use a little bit more flavor. But otherwise, I love it to death. I love the mango taste in it. And it's just really nice and sits back there. And then, of course, Fanta Freeze. As much as I love Blue Raspberry, 
it had like a sort of like sourness to it that kind of just makes it stick out to where it literally does represent the uh, blue raspberry perfectly but for like a drink that somebody would want to drink up like in an instant and be fast and quick and done with it if you wanted something sour I mean sour gummy worms was perfect for that but anyways I digress my top three picks were Baja Lime, Watermelon Frost, and Galaxy Burst. And to that extent, I would love, love to drink more of that. Hold up. Before I do anything else. This is Twisted Candy I just put in my mouth. 150 milligrams of caffeine is inside of one single serving. That is this. This is one single serving. That now tastes like watered down slush. <laughs> and as for my spicy demonade, I don't know. Unless if Ray's is able to make a spicy drink for me that, I, that can top this. That's probably the only that's probably the only energy drink I'm gonna keep with me is like maybe that spicy demon aid. Until Ray's comes out with something like spicy or something like that. I don't know. That's that's pretty sad. Ugh. Mind you, these drinks are basically carbonated water and caffeine and flavor. That's really it. That's what these raised drinks are. It's caffeine, carbonated water, and flavor. That's basically all it is. In order to ensure that it's preserved and everything, they add some extra chemicals and stuff like that, but that's besides the point. My point being is that, literally, in comparison to G Fuel, this is what you're going to want. Brutally honest, as much as I love G Fuel, I'm probably going to definitely switch to Rays. Like, there's nothing better than just the taste of an energy drink. Especially if you can burp like that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I apologize if I sounded rude, but this is natural to me. How I act. But... I digress. I love Ray's fully. I love their flavors right now. I would love to be able to see more coming out. In fact, I would love to be able to see a dragon flute. Dragon flute. Dragon fruit flavor. But I don't know how you would be able to make that. I'm looking forward to the next drinks that they would be coming out with, especially because I love the fact that they made Voodoo, which is a unique twist on an on a really nice like different drink, let alone different flavor that most people don't usually get to drink, let alone have. Like blood orange is not something that normally people would actually have on a normal day. But like I said before, that blood orange is somewhat dull and it's probably not actually it reminds me a little bit of a soda it would be perfect to go with any meal that's pretty much what I think of it <laughs> anyhow I digress I love I love Ray's now I, I think that this is probably gonna take the cake for me and be like my number one pick for energy drinks right now I have tried Bang in the past. Um, not a really big fan of Bang. I'm also not really a big fan of Regime because they only have like a really small limited amount of like flavors. These are just a couple of flavors combined in order to make something really good. Baja is probably the only one that's probably going to be like mashed up with like a different amounts of like 
flavors for the most part. But, I mean, straight up blueberry almost. Blood orange. Strawberry, or, yeah, strawberry pina colada. That's basically what that is. You put strawberry, you blend it up with a pina colada, that's what you got. Blue raspberry. Guava mango. You get my point. These guys literally have only just like a couple flavors, and that's all you need. These guys are literally perfect. You don't need a lot of flavor in order to make something pop, and that's what I love about these drinks. And they taste a lot better than this G Fuel. <laughs> It's unfortunate that I even have to say that about Twisted Candy, because Twisted Candy is literally one of my favorites. But I'm not going to be giving up Spicy Demonade for a little while. Not until they come out with something spicy. But until then, guys, I digress. Thank you all so much for watching. This has literally been an amazing unboxing of Ray's Energy, and I can't wait. Actually, I'm really considering about being an ambassador for it. I would definitely be an ambassador for this. I would definitely like to be. Anyhow, I digress. I keep on saying that when it's probably being overused now. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later. Peace.